science. In this video, let's find the LCM and GCF of 14 and 21. And you can use this technique for really any numbers that you got to find the LCM and GCF for. I like to use a factor tree, so let's get started. 2 times 7 equals 14. They're both primes, so I will circle them. And then 21 is, let's see, what is that? 3 times 7. They're both primes, so I will circle them. Now I just create a little chart, prime number chart. Prime numbers are 14 or 2 and 7. And for 21, I'm going to skip this space here because I don't have a 3 and write the 7 and then a 3. Now for the least common multiple, that's what I'm finding right now. Remember, as a minimum, it's got to be greater than 21. So what you do is you just multiply all the prime numbers together and use this one rule. Since I have a pair of numbers, I if I have a pair of numbers that are the same, I only use one number. So it works like this. I'll bring the 2 down. I'll only bring one 7 down and then a 3. If I had three numbers, I would look for three numbers and only use one. So now all I do is multiply this together. 2 times 7 is 14. And then 14 times 3 equals uh, 42. I'll rewrite this as 14 times 3 equals 42. Now that is the LCM. Now I can use this very same chart to find the GCF. So I'll rewrite it. Okay, so I've rewritten, rewritten the chart and I'm finding the greatest common factor. So the rule is here is remember it's the largest factor that will divide into both 14 and 21. So you only use vertical pairs. So you don't have a vertical pair here. You have a vertical pair of sevens and you can't use the three. So the greatest common factor of 14 and 21 equals seven. I hope that helps in finding the LCM and GCF of 14 and 21. Thanks for watching. And Moving Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.